Hi, my name is Kara Robertson. I am living in the Metro Detroit area right now. I graduated from state in 2013 and ended up student teaching in the Metro De or downtown Detroit actually. And um, right now I'm teaching in Birmingham Public Schools in a second grade classroom. And when I had to pick a book that really stuck with me as I was growing up myself, I had to choose Chrysanthemum. This was a story that I first read when I was in fourth grade and it is about a mouse family and it's a mom and a dad they have a little daughter and they name her chrysanthemum they wanted a name that was different and chrysanthemum was a name that was just absolutely perfect in their eyes and little chrysanthemum grew up and absolutely adored her name her parents would always tell her you are absolutely perfect you're chrysanthemum and she you know grew to believe that and you know she'd always wake up and say that she loves her name and eventually you know kids grow up they have to go to school so she went to school and during her school days she was always teased by her classmates there was one girl in particular who was like the queen bee of being mean and this girl would say anything and everything about her name it's too long it doesn't fit on your name tag your name has like I think it was 13 letter letters and everybody else has had like five why did why is your name so long you're named after a flower and kind of just teased her so much that she kind of grew to hate her own name because of all that was going on in the classroom she'd go home and tell her parents that oh my name is bad I don't like it and you know her parents would try their best to cheer her up and tell them tell her like no your name is beautiful you're absolutely perfect you're chrysanthemum and it wasn't until she had a teacher that actually stepped up and stepped in and said well my name is a flower too so because the students in her class now had a teacher a grown-up that had a name similar to chrysanthemums they then felt that they uh, could themselves be named after a flower and they thought that flower names were awesome and so with that chrysanthemum was able to then you know learn to love her name and um, you know all the teasing kind of stopped but it only stopped because that one grown adult was kind of there to to kind of be on chrysanthemum side and kind of be in her corner and kind of just let her know that you know being different is is fine and learning to accept that people are different names are different and yeah but um I chose this book because when I was growing up in elementary school fifth grade in particular I used to stutter and I have vivid memories of a boy in my class that would you know make fun of me and mock my stuttering in front of the class and it wasn't until I myself had a teacher that kind of stood in and kind of, you know, put him in his place. And that is exactly what Chrysanthemum's teacher does. And once that situation happened, I kind of reflected back on this story. And it's always just been a nice reminder to know that as an educator now, it's important for us to you know be there for our students through the good and the bad times and I love reading the story to my students today just because I'm able to share that message with them so I hope you enjoyed my video book talk and I look forward to the comments